Era military collectibles. So in today's video what we're covering is we're covering the S6 NBC respirator or its proper term is the service respirator number six hence why it's called the S6 respirator. Um, it, it's actually in the haversack here at the minute so I'm just going to uh, take it out for and uh, we will talk in depth about it. Now this haversack here is actually dated 1973 I don't know if you see it. Um, and then there's all the, the NATO stock number, respirator, all that type of stuff. Uh, so we'll take out the actual respirator. I'm not going to go through the contents of the haversack because this isn't complete. But uh, w what we're going to do is we're actually going to talk about the, the respirator itself. Now this respirator is manufacturer date 1972. Uh, so why are we going to talk about this respirator? Well this respirator is probably more famous for being seen in Northern Ireland or in Up Banner during this time of the Troubles. Now the respirator itself was um, designed in the 1950s and came into service then in 1966 and it went all the way up until it was re replaced by the S10 into uh, to 1986. So it would have been there through the vast majority of the uh, Troubles in Northern Ireland and then later on the S10 uh, the S10 which took over from it in 1986 that we will cover in a later date as well I do have an S10 there's some sl slight differences with it and changes so we can, we can compare the two of them initially when the British Army went into Northern Ireland they literally didn't have any gas masks you can uh, there's there's archive footage of them wearing uh, First World War or not First World War but Second World War small box re uh, respirators you can see them wearing the lightweight respirators. You can even see um, policemen with or 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 are you seamen at the time with just bandanas around their face to try and cover themselves with the with the, um, the the tear gas that they were using or the CS gas and stuff stuff like that. A famous picture of the Battle of the Bogside. You have a child wearing an old civil defence respirator to protect him against the, the CS gas. So they literally used everything and anything that they could find in stores, in antique shops, in TA, TA stores, in home front stores, old home front stores, anything they could get their hands on they were using until uh, they got a stock of, of S6s. Uh, remember initially there was so much of a panic to try and get troops on the ground that they literally arrived from Germany and bases in England with just their webbing their literally their webbing on them their 58 packs a sleeping bag the rifles and that was it and then we'll get everything else to ye so initially at the start of our banner equipment was very very narrow and sparse on the ground now if we look at the back of it you can actually see here uh, it, there's a 1974 date on the um, the the actual strap Whereas this was made in 1972, so I don't know if this strap has been replaced. It probably has. The uh, this is the the updated um, valve, I believe, or the filter, and there should be a date on this filter as well. Do do do. Well, that's the expiry when it expires. Uh, yeah, there's the date, 1975. So it was, pro it was probably um, manufactured in 1972 and then it had updates done to it when it came out of stores in 1974, 1974, 1975 for the actual filter. Uh, as you can see here, it's got it's integrated. The actual eyepieces are part of the rubber that can be removed. I but I think it's only done by uh, uh, trained armourers and stuff like that and there is actually a little piece here at the bottom that I don't know, I've, I've never used this respirator but I don't know I've, I've been told it's for the attachment of a microphone for uh, radio operators and stuff like that so that's it, it's just a simple respirator, the S6 respirator as I said they were used extensively in Northern Ireland during a banner um, 
later on they were replaced by the S10s and their service date was from uh, 1966 to 1986 so they, they had a, a nice uh, period of service so if you like what we provide here at ERA Military Collectibles please like, please subscribe please subscribe and hit the notification button and if you want to get in contact with the channel as always the email will be at the top of the video description thank you